All right, so we need a retimer run. What's up, guys? My name is Tom Shi. Uh, this is a video that's mostly intended for the Super Mario Odyssey verifying and mod team. But if this helps anybody else, then you know what? It's worth putting it out there just in case. So today we're going to work on how we would retime a run. So there are two free resources that can help you to do this. The first is DaVinci Resolve. And then we're also going to be using a tiny little program that my brother put together to help us out just a little bit. The links to both of these things are in the description. Just just grab them and then follow along and we'll figure this out. You should be presented with this screen upon startup. Just start a new project. Just name it whatever. If you've never used a video editing software before, this is going to be very confusing because Resolve is a little bit on the more confusing side because it's meant as like an entire workflow. So it's a little bit in your face. I can't guarantee this is going to look like this. This is just how mine's looking at the moment. You're going to drag your clip on just in the cutting or the editing section. Doesn't really matter all too much. Where did my clip go? <laughs> if it asks you to change the frame rate, change it. Okay. Now come over to this edit section. Now you may notice that our time code here starts at one hour. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. If you uh, right click on the, sorry, up here on this timeline section. If you don't have that section, go to workspace, show panel in workspace, and then media pool. And this will appear. You want the one that says your timeline. Right click on that. Go timelines, starting time code, and then change this to a zero. This doesn't seem like it's important, but it kind of is for what we're doing because it will reset our frame count to zero at the beginning instead of being at the one hour mark. This part right here, what you want to do is come up to this one that says timeline and there should be a number here. I'm pretty sure it's going to default to something like this, either source time. We want to swap it to record frame, not source, because if we chop this up um, and say remove this section and then move this, it's still going to start at that later time, which is not what we want. So we want record frame. Find your start and end points. Say this is our start, say this is our end. We'll just chop them. We'll move that to the beginning. And you go to the end, and this will give you your frames. Then what you can do is you can grab that program that I mentioned before from my brother, set your FPS, set how much you want it to round to, input your frame count, and then it will give you the actual time code that you will need. Because if you set it to the time code here, you'll notice that it's a little bit different. And that is of course, because this time code here is conforming to a 60 FPS display. So once it hits 59, it will round up the minute. Whereas we don't use that in speed running. We obviously use a proper display. So that's what this is. This is just a handy little time converter to help you tell the difference. And that's all there is to it. It's as easy as that. If you need to learn how to use Resolve, there are plenty of tutorials out there, but I can give you a little rundown. Um, to cut your clips, you want to use this razor tool. I don't know what its default key binding is. I think it's like R or something. I'm not entirely sure. You'll have to check that out and change it yourself. If not, there should be a toolbar somewhere. Find your split. That is your first piece of movement. So hover over it and just cut it. Change back to your selection tool. Get rid of the dead clip. Remove that. Push that over to your timeline. You can go over to the end. Find the end point. Change back to that tool. Cut again. Change back to your selection tool. And then just remove the other clip and then once again make sure you're at the end section make sure that's set properly make sure your time code is properly and then that's it check the frames plug it in just like that you have a time that's all there is to it thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace